Before installing the Hypertech Interceptor, make sure the vehicle engine and ignition is turned off. And we recommend that the engine and components are cool before working in the engine area. No special tools are required, but we do recommend a flashlight or a drop light and a pair of side cutter pliers to snip excess from the included tie straps. And a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. Step 1. Installing the Hypertech Interceptor Controller Box. First, remove the engine cover. We have noticed the retention grommets may stay stuck in place when you pull the cover off. If this happens, squish the grommet together and slide it back into place. We suggest mounting the interceptor controller box to the flat panel next to the brake master cylinder located on the passenger side near the firewall. Use the included Velcro strip to attach the interceptor controller to this panel. Make sure the area is clean before applying the Velcro. Before proceeding to the next installation steps, lay out the interceptor harness in the general area of the sensor locations. Now route the cables up over the air conditioner lines and then match the interceptor's 3-pin MAP sensor connectors to the factory MAP sensor. Disconnect the factory MAP sensor connector by pressing the back of the connector with your thumb and pulling the connector out. Now plug the other interceptor connector into the factory MAP sensor connector. Now connect the interceptor's 3-pin connector to the factory sensor. Make sure all connectors are tightly secured before going on to the next connection. As you install the interceptor harness, make sure all connectors are clear from moving and rotating parts of the engine as well as any extreme heat sources. Use the supplied tie straps to hold the harness cables in place. Step 2. Connecting the air intake sensor. These are the two pin connectors on the interceptor harness. First disconnect the factory air intake sensor by squeezing the back of the connector with your thumb and pulling it out. Then route the interceptor under the intake hose and plug the interceptor's two pin connector into the factory sensor. Now plug the interceptor harness two pin connector, the gray connector, into the factory wiring harness two pin connector. Make sure the bulky side of the interceptor connector is on the bottom. When connected correctly, it will look like this with the bulky side opposite of where your thumb is on the factory connector. Step 3. Connecting the cam sensor. This is the 4-pin connector located in the left corner at the back of the engine. You may want to use a flashlight so you can see the connector better since it is back pretty far in the engine bay. This connector also has the red locking tab, so it too can be a bit tricky to disconnect. Again, you must use your thumbnail or a key or a small screwdriver to push the red tab back. Once it's unlocked and there's no visible sign of red showing, squeeze the back of the connector with your thumb and disconnect it from the factory sensor. Now connect the interceptor's 4-pin connector to the factory connector. Make sure the smooth side of the connector is on the top and the bulky side of the connector is on the bottom. Push the connector together until they are locked. Connect the other interceptor connector to the cam sensor, again making sure all connections are secure. Once the install is complete, double check that the interceptor cables are free from moving parts, heat sources, and out of the way of the oil filler. Now you are finished under the hood and can reinstall the engine cover. Next we move to the inside of the vehicle to install the interceptor accelerator controller. First, remove the dash panel below the steering wheel by pulling back at the top of the panel. This will give you better access and provide better visibility for the install. Then remove the metal plate by using a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. You'll probably want to use a flashlight or drop light while doing this install because the accelerator pedal connection is a little tricky to see. Once the panel is removed, we recommend disconnecting the two connectors from the module you can see right behind that panel. Disconnect and move the connectors out of the way.
Now disconnect the factory harness from the accelerator pedal sensor. The accelerator pedal connector is located at the top of the accelerator pedal. Once disconnected, plug the interceptor accelerator pedal sensor connector into the factory accelerator pedal sensor. Now connect the other interceptor connector into the factory accelerator connector. Then set the interceptor accelerator control box out of the way of the accelerator. That completes the installation. But you do need to put the two connectors back on the module and reinstall the dash panel to wrap things up.